Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on June 21st, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, looking at earthquakes, volcanoes, world weather, and space weather. Starting out here looking at the sun in the last 48 hours. This is a 304 angstroms. Able to see the plasma filaments. Looking at incoming imagery right now. Still have that cresting northwestern sunspot. No major events or changes on the sun since yesterday. The earth-facing sunspot remained unorganized. Another quick look here at the cresting sunspot. And you can tell it is an active sunspot under this multi-spectrum. As well as small growing sunspot earth-facing southern region you can see there. The bright earth-facing region. But again, no major space weather events thwarted our way. Just some amazing imagery from Solar Dynamics Observatory at our amazing sun. Looking at Iswa Space Prediction Spiral here, you can still see on the 23rd, we will be getting a glancing blow of that space weather. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Lasco 2 and 3 showing no major changes. Looking at our Schumann resins for today, a power of 11. And that is quite a downgrade from yesterday's graph. So an amplitude of 11, quality of 7.7. .7. Looking at earthquakes last 24 hours. And we did have a pretty sizable earthquake in Greece. And we're going to start out with that 5.7 in Greece. And that is just southwest of an island dormant volcano in Madraki, Greece, the Aegean Sea. 4.3 here reported in Nepal, 10 kilometer depth. 4.6 there in Indonesia. And as well, northern Indonesia near Ternate, seeing sizable earthquakes as well, 4.7 raging to 4.5. 185 kilometer depth. Northern Marianas Trench, 5.5, 250 kilometer depth. And then our largest earthquake today, 5.9, New Zealand. And as well, a 4.3 here, New Zealand. South part of New Zealand. 5.2 here, East Pacific Rise. As well, Scotia Plate seeing a 5.0. Argentina, 4.4. One lonely earthquake to report, South America. And things have calmed down here through Puerto Rico. Not many, as I've been reporting. And then across the United States, minor earthquakes through Oklahoma reported today. And as well, Texas. Western Texas, right into the border with Mexico. And then we did have some earthquakes here. Yellowstone, Montana. Minor earthquakes at that, but quite a few of them. I mean, you can say this was a minor swarm here today, just northwest of Yellowstone, ranging from 0 0.9 to a 2.6. So 2.4 here reported west of Yellowstone. West of Yellowstone, 2.4, 2.3. So very active and hot throughout the region. There are some there are a lot of fire bans and severe drought and fire warnings going on right now. So tune into your local radio stations through the area and see what's popping near you. Stay safe out there. Other than that, looking across the US, we're only seeing three hundred earthquakes for the past twenty four hours and no major swarms other than the one in Yellowstone. Minor at that. Microquakes. 
as well. 3.4 here reported off the coast of Oregon. And there is another one just reported now, 3.1. Sizable 3.3 to report at a 37-kilometer depth, Hawaii. And as well, Alaska seeing 3.8, largest of the day. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Things are picking up. Just over 300 earthquakes the last 24 hours, according to USGS. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes, a lot of fours over the last 40 or last 24 hours. And as well, some pretty deep action coming out of Tonga. And increased activity here through North America. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Most recently here are Swiss and Ajima in Japan. As well, lots of fire alerts going out. Uh, Nevados to Chilean here. As well, Ebico landslides through Nepal, Sabinkaya in Peru. That's right, the Bog Bogmati province. As well, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Etna in Italy, Decono, Sangay, and Semeru. So about 13 volcanoes getting updated today. And as I said, we've been getting a lot of alerts for fires across North America. And as well, a couple new landslides here to report through the Nepal region after that grinding low pressure system is finally leaving but not before leaving some devastating floods and landslides and we only have two tropical storms to talk about right now we do have tropical storm number six who was just reported about three hours ago and most likely won't be forming into anything major and also staying in open water. And then, of course, we have Tropical Storm Claudette, who is now off the coast of North America and heading up the eastern seaboard. Most likely will not hit Newfoundland. Looks like it's just going to graze here with this forecast, but I don't think it's going to hit you. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Starting out here at Calgary, Alberta, as we have some beautiful summer-like conditions. Cool temperatures at night, which is refreshing. And then looking across the map here, you can see a lot of cool temperatures sweeping eastward. And that sparked up all of those storms last night. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that was affected through Chicago and as well Ontario, Illinois. So watch for these storms to develop later on in the week, Thursday to Friday, as the cold front sweeps through yet again. All these wicked cold fronts in the middle of summer. Well, not middle of summer, beginning of summer, but you know what I mean? Overlooking Central America, we do have a low-pressure system here. Most likely will develop into a tropical system. Long-range forecast, pretty intense organization there. Could be a doozy. And most of those storms have been heading northwest, right up the coastline. So going to be keeping an eye on that. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains through the north. Dry through Brazil. And then watch as this system develops over Argentina and Chile. Could have some very intense weather there with that developing low. And then watch it just race north, or sorry, southward towards Antarctica. Man, these systems are just not moving like they used to. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains through central regions. As well, watching a low-pressure system here, just skate Cape Town, South Africa, bringing in some pretty cool temperatures with it as well.
And then in the long range here, you can see a little bit of organization here. We could have a tropical depression forming off the coast of Africa in the long range. Overlooking the Atlantic and Europe. Watching those sneaky quick lows move into Western Europe. And they're going to be cool. And as well, we do have a pretty large low pressure system here. Stuck inside of a high pressure system, it looks like. Hot, hot, hot across Eastern Europe and wet and cool across most of Northern Europe and Central. As those systems coming from the north are bringing in those cool temps. Overlooking Southeast Asia, India. That low pressure system looks like it's just finally starting to break up. As well, interesting low pressure systems over Russia. But yeah, watching these monsoon rains throughout the week, you can watch from Thursday to Saturday. Just watch for the rains to dramatically increase here. You could see quite a bit of rain heading eastward. I don't know if that's an anomaly or not, but that is quite a bit of rain forecasted here in the long range for parts of Southeast Asia, Malaysia. Overlooking Australia, you can see that large low pressure system just south of you has stretched a long line of moisture across the continent and it's going to take its time sweeping here. Low pressure center will be over Tasmania Thursday, but not before drenching parts of southeastern Australia and they've already seen a lot of warnings and watches from their last storm. Hopefully everybody's got their power back on. Overlooking the Pacific, no major changes there either. High pressure ridge remains dominant off the coast there. Steering all the low pressure system to northward towards BC and Alaska. And that's why we're seeing these strange low pressure systems coming from the north. Going to leave you here looking at the areas of interest over the next little while and as well southern hemisphere versus the northern much love and thank you so much for watching today this has been mike with morning dew daily events worldwide keeping you aware and prepared daily weather forecast space weather updates and as well earthquake updates much love stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew bye bye now Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.